Hey everyone, it's Alyssa from Planet Alyssa and I am here with a thrift haul follow-up video for you. I'm going to apologize in advance because yesterday when I was out shopping I stopped at the pet supply store and among other things I decided to give Jack, my dog, a bone um, as a special treat and um, now he is chewing on it and making all kinds of noise. At least it isn't as bad as yesterday when he spent a half an hour barking at it. So um, he's a little bit quieter today. Anyway, if you hear some noise in the background, that's probably Jack and his bone. This video is a follow-up to a haul video that I filmed back in May, uh, May 7th. And it was after a trip to a couple of different thrift stores, both independent thrift stores. At those stores, I spent a total of $78.00 and my total sales so far, which is, you know, four months or so down the road, are $364, $364.59 to be exact. And that does not include the fees that I paid to Etsy and Amazon. I think these were all Etsy and Amazon sales. So that's not pure profit. Um, but I still made a nice little return on my investment. Now, when I went back to watch this video and, you know, see the different things I bought, I realized that on this particular shopping trip, I made two mistakes, um, two items that were complete duds that I couldn't sell. Um, so you can still afford to make mistakes and do pretty well. Um, I could have saved myself a few bucks if I had been a little bit more vigilant. The one item that I bought that was a mistake was a DVD. It was an open DVD. Um, it was one of the Star Wars movies. I think it was A New Hope, the first, well, to old timers like me, the first Star Wars, which is episode four, but anyway. Uh, and when I, I checked the DVD at the store, I opened it and looked and it was in the case. Um, but then when I got home and actually looked at it a little closer, I realized what was in the case was some kind of like bonus content, DVD, special features. It wasn't the actual movie, the film. So it was worthless. And uh, so that just got donated back to that thrift store or another thrift store, I don't even remember. And then the second item that I bought that was a dud was a kit to make a t-shirt. Um, like uh, for dad for Father's Day or something like that and um, you know, it's a shirt with some printing on it and then the kids are supposed to put uh, paint on their hands and then put their handprints on the shirt. The kit was supposed to come with paint. Well guess what when I actually looked at it I realized the kit had been opened and the fabric paint had been removed. So the shirt was still perfectly new and good but it wasn't really a complete kit so I couldn't sell that on Amazon as I was intending to and I might have been able to sell it on eBay or something like that, but it just wasn't worth it, so I ended up donating that as well. All in all, even with those mistakes, um, I did pretty well, so I am happy uh, with the sales from this haul. And I will go ahead and show you what actually did sell, how much it sold for, um, if I know I put the... Uh, the original purchase price in the video as well and I just do that using clips from the original haul video if you want to actually watch that I'll post a link at the end of this video and I'll also post a link in the description below so thank you guys for watching and I uh, hope you enjoy uh, this is something to go on Etsy it's a vintage baby book um, unused uh, you know, uh, this is a new sealed game this one was five dollars and um, I'll send it off to Amazon I uh, got another new sealed game. This one is a Seen It. Um, I think it's the original Seen It. Um, this one was only two dollars. And, and then I got a sealed puzzle. This is a, it's a cover of The New Yorker. And um, this was three dollars. And that too is going to Amazon. Well, the hardcover books were, I think, a dollar a piece. Um, these are all going to Amazon. Um, history one. There's another one of these in here. Also hardcover. Um, it's also possibly the heaviest item I've ever bought at a thrift store. Um, so I don't know if you can see this. Um, this is a box set um, of Harry Potter books. It is an opened game um, and I have two of these. Two of the same exact game. Uh, it's funny because one was priced at two dollars and one was priced at three dollars. Um, so the pricing was just totally random. It's a vintage photo album. Again, this was marked a dollar so I paid 50 cents for it. And um, it has like a Instamatic style pages. Like this is, um, it looks like new old stock. Looks like these were never used. And um, I'm trying to see if I can get a little closer there. They're, they're shot glasses. They were Portu souvenirs from Portugal.